Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I have a camping slash road trip haul. So let's jump in. First of all, you will have to excuse my shirt. There is, uh, <laughs> there's maple syrup on it. I do not feel like changing. We've been doing yard work today. Probably gonna go out again. Why dirty a second shirt? So just excuse my slovenly appearance. Um, uh, not a big deal though. But as I said at the top of the video, I have a camping haul slash a road trip haul. We are going to be taking um, a camping trip in September that's pretty far. It's up in Shasta County in California um, at McCarthy Burner Falls State Park. Uh, it is about 10 hours from where I live. So it's a long drive. I live in Southern California and it's in Northern California, um, a little bit north of Tahoe. And it's gonna be a long drive. So I wanted to get stuff to keep the kids busy. But the major camping stuff that we got, I'll get, a, um, I'll go ahead and do first. So uh, the first thing we did was buy a bunch of sleeping bags. It's the tag, most of the info is gonna be right here. We got these um, at walmart.com, they're Coleman. They are um, rated to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which it's going to be 30 degrees at night, or it's forecasted to be 30 degrees at night up in Bernie Falls. So much cooler weather than we have down here lately. Um, usually it's in the 50s <laughs> down at campsites here. So pretty cold. Uh, we did try out one of them. We uh, watched uh, the Perseid meteor showers a couple of days ago, and we had one on top of us. It was very warm. It was very soft and cozy. It didn't feel like uh, you know, some can kind of feel like sweaty or weird. It didn't feel like that. So that was nice. So i um, happy to have those. And then we also, this is a purchase my husband made. I didn't buy it. I didn't pick it out. It's the Blue Tea Power Pink. This is basically like a, a super large battery. Um, we will be getting um, a solar panel to go along with it. So we can um, like hang lights on our pop-up um, for nighttime activities. We could play cards and whatnot. Um, we can charge our phones. I take a lot of pictures and video, obviously, when we go camping, so it's good to have. And um, we can charge um, the kids' devices for when we, um, like to me, I know some people are like, you give them devices on a camping trip. I'm not that way <laughs> at nighttime when we're about to go to sleep. If they wanna watch something that I, that I downloaded, I am cool with it. I am cool with them with devices on a long trip up and down, and especially when we're setting up and breaking down camp. Please, by all means, watch an episode of Bluey. So we have this, and it's kind of cool. Um, it weighs about, I know this is supposed to be like lightweight for what it is. It weighs probably about 10 pounds, um, about the size of a small radio, but for the the size it is, to me, it's, um, it's heavy, even though I know, um, Technology has improved enough for this to be considered light. Um, and incidentally, if you were looking at these, you will hear a lot of like old dudes on YouTube pronouncing it blue wetty. It's blue tea. I looked it up just to be sure. <laughs> but um, it's got um, like uh, cordless charging up top. You just put your phone on and it will charge it. It's got like USB and for like um, the new um, chargers that Apple makes. It's got two sockets, it's got um, like the cigar cigarette lighter, like from a car, it's got a flashlight. Um, so all in all, pretty cool. We did take this to the beach and used it. Um, worked great, kind of just to test it out and um, was super happy with it. So pretty cool there. And then the last kind of big thing that we got, um, again, a purchase of my husband's. We got a projector for nighttime movie watching. So those are kind of cool little things that we got that we've been looking at for a minute. So happy to have those. And then the rest of the stuff is just kind of, um, kind of kid centric to keep them busy, not only on the camping trip, but as I said, on the drive up. So um, the first thing my husband and son were shopping in Winco while me and O were in uh, the 99 cent store shopping for um, my niece's party. Um, they bought uh, travel net pillows <laughs> for them. So I thought those were kind of cool uh, and good to have. They have ones, but they're like for babies. So uh, they kind of needed new ones. And then um, a flexible clamp just for holding devices uh, for hands-free. That's, that's probably gonna be for um, 
For long drives, sometimes we bring their Nintendo Switch and they'll play in the car. Um, he also, my husband also bought this for the camping trip. I don't know what for, but here it is. And he's not in here. He was in here with earlier, so I can't ask him. This I got at Target in their back to school section. I thought it was so cool. Um, I bought two. I actually have one for our classroom because we homeschool and I bought one for camping trips. I thought it would be great for like windy days to put our drinks and kind of make it a little bit more spill proof, even for the beach. Uh, Cause if, especially if you picnic on the ground, you don't have any type of little table. This would make the drinks just a little bit more stable. And then I also bought it mainly for s'mores. Um, organizing s'mores when you're camping can be a little bit chaotic unless you have something specific to hold everything. So uh, with the exception of the marshmallows, I thought it'd be cool to have the graham crackers ready and unwrap the chocolate bars and stuff like that. Sometimes we make cookie s'mores. Uh, this past time we made um, like Reese's peanut butter cup s'mores. So I thought this would be cool for that as well. And that was, these are three bucks I think right now, but probably gonna get cheaper soon because all the back to school stuff's going on soon. And then I got, I found this in the dollar section at Target. This was five bucks and um, it's a game, it's called Ladder Ball, um, which I've never played before, but I thought this would be cool for camp just as an activity, uh, a physical activity to keep the kids busy. Uh, my sister's going with us and she's always down to play games with the kids and stuff, especially while I'm cooking. Uh, so I thought this would be cool. And then a lot of the next stuff, again, at the Dollar Tree and at Target. Um, like I said, the uh, sleeping bags got at Walmart.com. The blue tea we got on eBay, but directly from the seller. Blue tea was the actual um, company that sent it to us. And then the projector, I believe, was Amazon as well. So um, I got a little um, dustpan in, uh, like, what are these called? Brush. <laughs> I thought it had some sort of broom name, but um, mainly for the um, entrance into our tent, it can get a little bit uh, dusty and stuff, but also like to clean like um, when the last trip we took to Barton Flats, our bear box was a little bit like it could use a cleaning just to keep my stuff clean. So I uh, picked up one of these. I thought that would be good. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree and they're just little um, like little pocket um storage they're magnetic so i guess you could stick it to stuff like in your car and and whatnot but basically i just buy a bunch of these to organize my kids toys and such um and like little activities they're just nice to have they're cheap i don't care if they get dirty or torn it's not a big deal um but i use these uh in my homeschool and camping so i picked up a couple of those but i also picked up a couple of um over chair storage um storage pouches from the dollar tree this uh both of these are found in the like school supply office supply section now um i will probably have to rig this to get it um in my car just because of the way that it's structured you put it over a chair like this and my headrest um i don't know how comfortable it'll be for the back of my head to be on this but um, I have uh, hooks and clamps. I might just rig it really quickly so that they have easy access to a bunch of their stuff. Um, and they don't have to be like, mom, mom, you know what I mean? So it's got one large pocket and then two smaller ones. I can put games, I can put um, devices, snacks, what have you. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, oh, this is the other <laughs> cup holder thingy that I bought for the classroom. Um, this, these next two items kind of go together. I don't know how they will work. Um, I don't know, I saw it on Pinterest. I thought I'd give it a try. It might be a total flop, but just um, a little baskets and suction cups uh, to kind of put the baskets on their window for some of their supplies, crayons, things like that. We'll see how it goes. Um, this little guy, I got, what is this? This is like, um, it's a tech case basically for my headphones um i thought it was really cute it's got like the little you can see the little net in there and you can put i don't know something in there a uh, chapstick or whatever if you want to be super light while you're on the trail but i basically bought these for my headphones when we are camping um especially my dad's going with us um 
on this particular camping trip. So in the mornings, he always starts the coffee because he's up a little bit earlier than I am. And he and I are usually the first two up. So he'll do the coffee and I'll go for a walk. That's kind of our little ritual in the morning when he's with us on a camping trip. So let's see, I bought more of these um, storage bags. If you watched my um, camp organization video, the last one that I did, you saw me put my husband's stuff in these. These worked great for him. His stuff is so much bulkier than mine and the kids stuff. And like for me, I'm bringing a couple of pairs of pants for myself for the evening time. So I thought these would be great to have uh, to pack like larger clothing items, even sweaters and stuff would be would be great. And um, these are uh, two large bags come in each pack. So I bought a couple of those and I still have a couple to go along with it. Let's see. So here's the other um, over chair pouch thingy. I bought more clamps to have just cause I needed it. I bought a hamper for a mesh laundry bag just to have if I needed to hang anything. Um, I usually just put our dirty clothes in uh, the space bags that I bring. As those empty out, I put dirty clothes in. Um, this I might use honestly for like to hang dishes to dry. I've seen that on Pinterest. I don't know how well it works, um, but for a buck 25, I'm willing to give it a try. Now the last stuff that I have to show you is uh, definitely more kid centric. Uh, I brought activities for when we are driving. Like I said, we have a really long uh, road trip ahead of us and uh, like quiet time stuff to do at camp because we're gonna be hiking and exploring and doing all that kind of stuff, but it's always good to have a little bit of quiet time, especially when the kids are tired, uh, just stuff to keep them busy so they're not like dying of boredom. So um, I went ahead and I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They have a ton of these little wood, they call them wood shop kits. Um, and these are such a huge hit for my boys, um, especially G. G loves, like he loves sawing stuff. He has like a little tinker table in our backyard and he'll nail like two by four pieces together. And like my husband has little, um, what are those little, is it a shiv? Those wood thingies? I don't know. Uh, but he messes with all that kind of stuff. So I saw these and I picked them up uh, this is the third set we've bought, and these I'm saving specifically for the camping trip. But uh, these are two little, like one's a bird house, and then one's just a bird feeder. You build it, you can paint it, and do all kinds of modifications to it. But they have fire jets that the kids have built. They have a sailboat. Really, really cool stuff. So I and everything that you need to assemble um, the item is in the bag. A buck twenty-five. You can't beat that. These would actually make like super cool stocking stuffers. If you have a kid that's crafty or likes to build and make things, perfect. So I bought those and then to go along with them and even like um, my mom does rock painting with the kids. So if they find a rock they want to paint, I just bought this kit. I got this at Hobby Lobby just randomly while I was there with my sister in La Quinta. But anyhow, so I got this. The kids can paint their little woodworking item. They can paint rocks. Um, uh, I'll bring paper and stuff that they can paint as well. So I thought that would be cool. I know not technically like camping item, but um, if you camp with kids, you need stuff to keep them busy. And then I also bought um, Crazy Eights. Target in their dollar spot has a ton of these games. We have their version of Old Maid and Go Fish. I never played Crazy Eights before. I have no idea how to play, but card games are big for us, especially when we're camping. Like me and my sister, we play Skippo and stuff. Um, so I thought this would be cool to have just a new little game and they're like really brightly colored. They're large print. So it's uh, easy for little hands and, and little readers, things like that. And then I also got uh, these sticker activities books. So I've got the human body, space, uh, insects and bugs, perfect for the woods. And then uh, no and glow ocean. All of these are glow in the dark. Very cool. Uh, the next thing I got also from the dollar spot are these little um, building blocks. They look um, kind of like um, like the pound symbol, the hashtags that you can connect together. I saw these and um, I noticed when we were camping on our last trip, I brought like a mini um, Jenga set that they sell at the Dollar Tree. And we played a couple of rounds and then the kids just started building stuff with them. And they did that for like an hour and a half. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So I thought this would be cool. They're colorful. Um, they're pretty small and portable and they come in a pretty um, 
pretty sturdy uh, little container here. So I bought those. Thought these were kind of cool. Probably also make a good stocking stuffer, by the way. And then the last thing I thought, um, I thought these were kind of cool. I saw at the Dollar Tree and it is vehicle and roadside bingo. So um, if you can see right here, uh, they have different things that you can mark off. Each comes with um, two dry erase markers and a couple of different, there's several cards in here actually. Does it say how many? So it comes with four dry erase boards and two markers. So pretty cool. I thought it would be fun, especially if they're bored on their tablets or, you know, the day is just kind of dragging. Um, I thought this would be really cool. And they still have, I bought these quite a while ago, but they still have them at the Dollar Tree if you're looking for anything like that. Very cool. Okay, guys. Well, that about wraps up my haul. Um, please stay tuned. I've got a lot of exciting stuff uh, planned for the future. Um, I will obviously show you our video that we, um, I will obviously show you the footage that I take when we are at Burning Falls. It's supposed to be beautiful. It's someplace my dad has really been wanting to go for a while. Uh, so we're excited to see it. So I will um, definitely be sharing that with you. And then I also have a homeschool classroom tour coming up. I bought some new art um, from Heirloom Art Company that's supposed to be coming. I'm really excited about that. And then I also bought a bunch of stuff for my living room. I bought, um, well, my great room. I bought a couple of rugs from Ruggable that I'm excited. They're on their way. Um, I bought some art pieces, just like, well, not tchotchke, but like uh, things to kind of zhuzh up the living room and change it up a bit. Uh, so I'm really excited to share all of that with you guys. And in the meantime, I hope you all are doing well. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all in the next one. And until then, take care and happy camping. Bye for now.